Well, hello. So today's video isn't going to be about any balloons. What it's going to be about is the Filbert pump here, which I, I love. It's fabulous. But because uh, they're not making any more Filbert pumps, I wanted to uh, to get a, another one. I, I don't want an electrical pump. I want something that, you know, won't work on, won't, don't, won't need to be charged or anything. So I got this and it's a, uh, what the heck they call it? It's a... Uh, Orosino, I think that's how you say it. You can either get it in black or you can get it in red. And my gosh, you can get it at so many different prices, it's insane. So uh, today is uh, it's September 2024. And uh, you can buy it uh, in, in Canadian dollars. I'm in Canada. So you can buy it at $80, you can buy it at $40, you can buy it at $39. Okay, so it depends which site you go on. Just keep looking, you'll find it cheaper. Um, if you buy it at a cheap place, my experience is you can only get one. I was going to get two, but I couldn't. Um, anyway, and uh, then then you have to pay shipping, and I paid so I paid about forty dollars for this. I paid uh, around you know around forty dollars. I paid around eighty dollars for shipping, so we're up to a hundred and uh, well, and then there was taxes, so uh, it was around just a li little under one hundred and thirty Canadian dollars. And then when it got to me, yay hooray, I got to pay some duty on that, which was about another $30. So we got about $160 into this pump right here, okay? Uh, 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 let's see, it's a Balloon Man Mike. Anyway, someone else has already posted a, a video on, on uh, the pump as well, comparing the two. Uh, I just thought, you know, I would do mine, although I don't know if I need to do comparison because you can't buy this one anymore. But if you can find it from someone, buy it. If you can't find one of those, buy this one now this one here come a little closer just like mike uh i should have double checked his full name on on uh youtube and all that his the base came apart on his and surprise surprise when mine got here the base wasn't attached either it was supposed to be so i pushed it in and uh then i put some kind of silicone type uh you know adhesive on here i think it's no more nails or something like that anyway and then i'm gonna i'm just gonna put a black piece of tape around there so it doesn't look so bad uh the one thing about this uh this pump here that that i like a little bit better than the the uh well than this one right here uh, i'll try to show you maybe you can see uh, the nozzle on this black one that i'm shaking it seems a little just slightly narrower than on this one here than on my filbert Okay, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to see it coming closer. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm focusing in. Anyway, so I find myself. I'm just going to grab a a two sixty and uh, just see. You push it on, and that's fine. That's no problem there. But I, I found it. I've only used this for one hour the other day or last night actually, and it just it goes on easier. Okay. So I don't have to struggle to, to get it on. Uh, but that's the thing. Uh, I, I do think that the filbert is easier to push. But that's just what I think. Um, maybe I'll get used to the the handle right here. And and I guess just like if I'm using the filbert, I put the pump on and then up she goes and then I push down. Um, and that's one thing about this pump is you push it up, pick it up, and it'll stay. The filbert, I'd say that's almost a demonstration of of how smooth this one is versus the uh, Bor Borosino, whatever it's called, okay? Uh, so, uh, for no reason at all, I am actually, because some people will want to see, well, what's in it. There's, um with, with the filbert, you just unscrew it. You can unscrew the top or you can unscrew the bottom. And, you know, I've gone to events and you have to give it a, a, a bit of a turn even before you start. Just That's just due to use. Now, as you can see, this one is slowly coming down, okay? Um, there's a screw right here. I haven't taken this apart yet, so I'm going to do it right now, because why not, okay? I assume this is what I'm supposed to do if I ever wanted to lubricate it. Although it's also possible that, that I would uh, just, like, put the nozzle of a, a silicone spray. I don't know if you can see, but there's a hole just above there, okay? And... Uh, that, that I would just put the nozzle of silicone in there and give it a spray. Make sure you're using the right silicone, right? Um, you, you don't want to use any petroleum type stuff. You don't want to use any WD-40. So let's see if this will come off. I have no idea. This is an experiment all the way around. 
There we go. Okay, that came off. <clears throat> We're going to pick it up. Keep going. Seems to be, we'll say, looks well greased inside. Now, I did have a heck of a time getting the uh, the base and, and this back all together because the base came off and uh, the long stem fell down to the bottom. And I don't know if you can see it, but there, go here. There's a an O-ring right there. And the O-ring, let's see if I can focus that in for you. Where the heck are we? Well, let's back up where you can see it's trying to focus the darn camera. Okay, anyway, trust me, there's an O-ring right there. And the darn thing didn't want to go back in. So it, it was, I was push, 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 trying to get the O-ring back in, you know, without damaging it, right? So anyway, that's the O-ring right there. And hopefully, hopefully, when I push this down in, that way, perfect. In she goes. Your ring is as it should be. I am going to put that right down. Hopefully, I've got that lined up. Ah, I'm going to put the screw back in later, okay? Um, now, this, this pump also does come with a, uh, a belt right here. I never did open the belt. Anyway, the belt, and it would, you know tie to either this little right there and, and, and down at the bottom. Uh, so the one thing that I, I would say about that I, I used it just once so far is I like the base quite a bit more on the, the filbert. Okay. It, um, it, it's rounder and it's back up so you can see. Stack them on top so you can see. Okay. Even though the, the one on the bottom, the filbert's on top. It's it's a bit wider. It just it just doesn't seem as stable. And um, I assume, like a lot of people that are watching this, you also do events outside on uneven ground. I just don't feel that standing on this pump right here is uh, holds it as stable. But that's just me. Hey, maybe you're better. Um, so anyway, that's uh, I guess really all I need to say about this pump. Uh, filbert's the best, but since there's no more filberts to be had, and if you can't get a second-hand one, then you may as well get one of these. As I say, they come in red, they come in white. Uh, you know, I was going to buy two or three of them and, and kind of share the shipping costs with people in the area, but for whatever reason, the one website wouldn't, wouldn't sell me more than one, and, uh, so there it is. Long story, uh, I, I love my filbert, but... I, I, you need a you need a backup. That's just how it is. Uh, quite a while ago, a very very cold in Saskatchewan where I live, that the cap here it cracked uh, at a, at an event or just before the event really, and well, the cracked pump doesn't really blow my chair. Even though I put lots of balloon over it, my hope is that this pump here won't crack. Anyway, there we go again. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.